In this video, we'll determine the complete uh, Linus uh, statistics of a data set. Here we have a data set of X and Y, where we calculate the Linus of Y, comma, X, and we want the complete statistics. Now that we have the complete statistics, the first pair is the slope and the intercept, which can be calculated using the slope and intercept function. So that's for the slope. The intercept will be this range. Now that completes the slope and intercept to give you the BM matrix, which is the intercept slope matrix. Next, we need this matrix, which is the one plus X matrix. So we can multiply with BM matrix to get the Y hat column or the estimate Y. So we start with the one column and then the X column or a formula of the x now that we have the two matrices we can now multiply them using the matrix multiplication and that gives you the estimate y column or the y hat column we still need to calculate this value the variance of the population of y correlation of y and x the sum of squares of x the variance of the population x And the population, which is N. So that now we can continue solving for the rest of the statistics. We start with the residual sum of square, which is sum XM, which is the sum of square of the difference of Y and Y hat. The estimate. So we have 8.89, which is the residual sum of square. Next, we calculate the regression sum of squares, which is n times the, bar, the variance of the population y minus the residual sum of squares. 190.88 which matches to this next the coefficient of determination which is also rsq the square of the correlation coefficient which is y we can also use the correlation formula but uh, we raise it to the power 2 because of the square you still get 0.955 or we can use this formula uh, regression sum of squares divided by n times the variance of population y so we have this ESS divided by the, val the, the population times the variance of the population y You still get 0.955. In this cell, we have the standard error of the y estimate, which has its own function. Which is 1.21, matches this, and 
we can also use this formula. But before we use this formula, we have to determine the degree of freedom, which is n minus 2, which is equal to population minus 2. We can use this formula square root of RSS, which is equal to square root RSS divided by degree of freedom. That's 1.21, which is which matches to this. Then we calculate the F statistics, which is equal to ESS over 1 divided by the standard error squared. So this raised to the power 2. 151.67. So that's the F statistics. Now we're down to the last two, the last two, or the last pair, which is the standard error of the slope and the standard error of the intercept. Let's start with the slope, which is equal to standard error divided by square root of n times the variance of the population x. Enter. 0.162. Now we have, we're down to the last, which is the standard error of the intercept, which is equal to standard error of the estimate divided by n times the square root of the sum of square x, which is this, divided by the var variance of the population x. Enter. 0.85. This completes the full statistics of the Linus function.